internet we have card videos and we also have videos like this one videos where you could actually learn something hello and welcome to my channel I speed on isocentric today I'm going to show you how you could animate a ball in clear so this is going to be an easy animation so um, to begin you could select new file or press ctrl n on your keyboard and this pop-up window will show up just go on and select create so this will show up this is our our face background where we could actually draw things here but uh, we, we don't want to work in here what I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to drop in a ball here as this is a file that I downloaded a baseball so I'll go to my folder download folder it's here I'll drag it and okay uh, let's do it again uh, I'll drag it and drop it down here as a new file so okay so it's a little bit huge so uh, what I will do here it's I will select transform layer layer or a selection so that's control T on your keyboard just select this and you could uh, size you could size the ball so you could adjust it a little bit should be down there should be down there should be should be down here to be down here a bit yes that's um and that looks okay so you could select um here just the move tool okay so this is our ball this is uh, our ball and um okay so we need to start working on the animation so what i'm going to do here you know animation is just a series of uh, a series of pictures yeah a series of pictures um moving from one point a to point b so this is like a move to and you can see that i can move this ball around in clear so what i will do actually i will just um be using the move to to um move the ball to places where i, I want it to be and record whatever i'm doing so um the background is okay i'm not going to remove this so let's just go to uh the press like let's create a folder let's create a folder on our desktop sorry my fault my desktop it's a little bit messy so you can just press ctrl shift n and let's say let's say here this baseball animation baseball animation so this is the place where we're going to save our pictures our series of pictures that is from creator so we're not going to use that uh, default thing which people use like creator window animation we're not going to use that we're just going to use um uh this so um okay uh Okay, let's see if it's bouncing back. Okay, yeah, sure. So it'll be fast. So um let's start like this. Uh let let me start like here. You'll be in the corner, it'll be bouncing back. So uh I will save this as my picture first picture, my first PNG one. So I just click I've just clicked savers, so I will locate the server that I will locate the folder that I had. Okay, so here we'll write base ball one and check here you could just put save it as png save it as png so um this will show up you select okay and you go okay you have saved this as png duplicate the layer you have duplicated the layer so this uh previously you just um we have duplicated the layer so this other layer you will this you, let's 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 shut this down um this other layer you decrease the opacity so that you could actually see where this is and um here let's move the duplicated layer just right above so right now we're able to see uh as in animations how they look like like where the boy is coming from and where the boy is going so we could actually just be you could actually just uh, i think delete this delete this yeah you could delete the last there so again save this save as save as to 
okay two we have saved as two so you continue the process until you have sensible movement uh, let's duplicate the layer let's go back to the previous layer let's lower the accuracy and let's move this like here so again let's delete the um the layer that we decreased the opacity for and uh, let's save again let's save again i know like there might be an easier way of doing this if you know an easier way of actually just uh, whenever you're saving uh, the pictures you save in a sequence uh, that actually be great just comment it down because i haven't actually found this anywhere so uh, let's increase the capacity once you have duplicated this and it's literally the same process it's literally the same process so it's gonna take a while but uh, at the end it's gonna be satisfying so let's delete that and uh, again save so we're on frame we're on frame uh, we're on frame 4 I, I'm thinking maybe if it, uh, eight frames are enough are enough to have a satisfying animation so again duplicating this increase decreasing the opacity of this um, and uh, and moving this just ahead moving this just ahead so yeah it's yes it's picking up some momentum okay so let's do this and save this this is from five so okay let me show you what's actually happening i know i am making this to move a little bit slow so i'll go to the folder that we were making this so let's okay so i'll select the baseball one which is a png it's a picture so you can actually see it actually how um that's the ball you actually see it like moving you actually see it moving oh we jumped a frame I, I don't know why how this happened okay so maybe it's just picked the one oh you should actually see it moving like moving moving you see so um if you continue doing this uh it will create movement it will create movement so uh let's just continue I, I will speed this up i'll speed this up because i don't actually feel like you could actually be just being seeing everything that i'm doing here this is kind of um it's gonna take a while so i'll just speed it up okay so it looks like uh we have made uh so i have made 17 pictures so let me just check here i know i didn't have a preview but i hope it's gonna be nice okay so this is the ball and uh this is the animation what's happening oh shit okay okay it didn't load well so this is like the animation to do be there okay so okay so this is the simple animation so what, what we're going to do here it's um i'm going to take these pictures one by one so i'm just going to select the pictures i know the pictures are baseball one baseball two baseball three baseball four baseball five nine ten eleven twelve eleven twelve fifteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen so i'll copy them and i'm going to paste them okay i'll move them and I'm going to paste them in a certain software called Filmora. So this is actually where we will we will link them up. This is where we will link them up. Okay, so they're here. They're here in Filmora where we'll link them up. Let's just um, decrease the duration of this. I'm thinking duration if it's 24, it'll actually look natural. 24 seconds, 24 milliseconds. Okay, so it's 24 and let's let me play this let me see what, what what actually happens okay so 24 is not it's not ideal let's let's try let's try um duration to be eight eight here let's put eight zero eight uh, it's, it should be for everything so i'll put zero eight it's just a way of linking them up guys it's just a way of linking them up because you need something to fuse these pictures 
So let's play, let's see what happens. Boom. Well, then maybe, maybe, maybe you should, you should give it a three or a four. A six. It should be nicer. A six. Okay, so it's a six. Let's let's play and see what happens. Okay, yeah, it's moving a little bit nicer. So, uh, we have made all this in Krita, so let's just uh, try to make it repeat several times for 28 seconds. Okay, so yeah, looks looks kind of nice, really. It looks nice. Um, so let's let's add put this video. Let's add some music to this. You just go on audio and uh, okay, yeah, this one sounds like mm, 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 mm. okay. Uh, going down there, increasing the volume and. Uh, You could also add some sounds, some sounds to this. So I'll just end it here because right now I'm, I'm like teaching you how to <laughs> how to use create how to use Filmora. This is not uh, this is not a tutorial for this. But if you're still interested, you can still continue watching on to see the final end of this uh, ball. But generally, it's how the best best ball video. Generally, this is how to animate easily. In Krita, okay. So let me just it's very, very FPS. Uh, I won't, I'll put this to 200 and 200, 100, um, 1280 times 720 and put this badly to 1000 lender. So it's gonna be 4.1 MBs. You know, I don't get how um, they create four animations which are just 700 something. MBs for like uh, an animation that takes around one hour to watch it just uh, it's not it doesn't even exceed 1 GB like that's impressive skill right there okay so uh, it's now on 91 percent 95 90 okay let's uh, find target let's see our animation let's preview it our animation Okay, so there you have it guys, we have just animated, there you have it guys, we have just animated this in Krita, this is nice, you know, I was supposed maybe to follow a path, but I'm still impressed by, um, by whatever we have come up with, because it's just easy, you know, like I've shown you guys how to animate in Krita, so subscribe to my channel, because I have a lot more tricks I can show you. I have a lot more tricks I can show you, and if you don't understand the Fimora part, I'll tell you exactly how I got it done. But this is how you guys can animate in Krita, and Krita is a very nice tool. Um, of course, I've been showing you how um, how uh, professionals actually do it, but uh, this is just animation is like it's just like you being able to move pictures there's nothing to it just you being able to move pictures so i'll create multiple animations on this one but for now um let's call it a day and i think it's a very good day child